Hey guys. Um, so if you can't sush, don't know. Um, I just finished watching Avatar for the second time through fully. Um, Avatar is basically my childhood. I used to watch Avatar. I used to want to be Avatar. Everyone wanted that. Um, and it's really what taught me a lot of my things now. And finishing it through for the first time in about 10 years, God, in about 10 years since it came out, it was really interesting because it makes me really emotional to just think about how Avatar sculpted my life. I was five when I first came, I was five when it ended, so <laughs> I watched when it ended onwards, I think that's why I remember most of book three the most. But watching it back now and seeing everything that's happened and how it's still important and a lot of the key moments in there definitely affect me. It's really interesting. It's really interesting to see that a protagonist isn't treated like he's the greatest thing. He's treated like a villain in half of the conquered world. And he's... And till the end, he still has this battle on the inside that do I take down Fire Lord by killing him, or do I take his, or do I have to do something else? And it takes him until the battle to finally figure it out, and it really impacts me. And right now, with what the world's, what's going on in the world, and what's happening everywhere else, I think I really needed to watch it and really see how it impacted me and I'm really excited to do this and I'm gonna cry again um because I did start tearing up when it happened because Avatar is my childhood I've watched Avatar all my life and I hopefully will never ever forget it um thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye happy Fetter